how to avoid this first opinion or advice for you here is uh, you know use ai well really well that you have to keep the video here and you also keep the annotated pdf here you are going through the things what ma'am is saying just hear it out and see it in the pdf so that you are having entire concentration on your video so that three hour video will take three hours only or maybe three or ten minutes and not six hours activating your both ears and eyes together and you will also be uh, able to write the points which are missing in the PDF itself because I have observed there are some things which are uh, missing in the uh, you know ma'am's class and uh, PDF so you can annotate them and also you can write them in your own words which is very beneficial you know you will understand the next time you are uh, studying you, you need not go back to the video again. So that's what is my takeaway and my first takeaway. If you can do like this, try it once. I hope it helps. Dear, I am not a very good planner at all. I hate planning my day because uh, it never goes right. But plan your day very well. That changes the entire perspective here. But planning doesn't mean that don't write like this because i have been doing it because i used to write anatomy one video um, anatomy one hour video and anatomy uh, a compile module just very vague kind of study goals which is not a proper planning so not btr btr is not enough i'm saying this underline this thing that btr is not enough when you only watch the videos and not studying it please don't make plans just like me they are vague goals i realized i have to change it you also have to realize where you are making mistakes in your planning don't just write anatomy one video or no that is a very vague goal be specific regarding study goals i'll take example of my own what i used to do is i plan my day for that particular day so i only plan for that particular day what happened i used to write some goal and then at the end of the for suppose anatomy and microbiology is going on right now 10 days is allotted i am taking it very slowly and then at the end of the anatomy and microbiology i have so many backlogs so uh, take it group wise take it like uh, you know cohorts take it like cohort uh, cohorts in cohort study like you have to take them as group so anatomy and microbiology together plan those 10 days together what you wanted to do schedule can be changed here now um, you can follow btr schedule but here you can uh, change or modify the schedule according to your uh, fast or speed that you are studying so uh, are you getting me that is what i wanted to tell you as a second thing to change this btr loop third thing is you have to understand what are the things you have to do in btr many people think that btr video is enough uh, and ask ma'am that btr is btr enough there are multiple things in btr not just btr video so you have to do btr video then you have to go and revise the pdf once with seeing not active recall i mean you can try active recall but someone like me first i need to read it so you read it once and then uh, while you are going to microbiology or, or the next very next day so try recalling it actively the, the very next day and the next next days we will say what things you have to do in btr so that it would be enough first the very first thing is people always skip doing pyqs do pyqs come back to btr then complete btr because now bonus btr have been uh, you know eliminated that's a relief because everything comes into one video so btr video have to go then you can uh, write some of those which are which you are forgetting in the choti copy then also you can you are revising choti copy every day don't keep multiple things these things are enough for preparation just just uh, you know digest this fact that these are enough then only you can be at peace and you can study without uh, any FOMOs so yeah BTR video PYQs then Choti copy then custom modules everyday 50 MCQs is the custom we have kept for ourselves right so you have to complete the custom module 50 MCQs and then you have to go um you have to actively recall the pdf which is very important than the video itself you have to recall it multiple times how many things we have got pyqs btr video and choti copy custom module 50 mcqs 
and active recall these five things keep them in your choti copy again these five things are very very important you are gonna do all these five things to get a better position in your rank the thing is people uh, people still watch videos still uh, do not come to a conclusion or still feel they are not enough but trust me dear these five things are very important and uh, you know follow this consistently this is very important thing so follow every of each of these consistently and you are uh, trust me you are uh, sorted and also you have to annotate things which are very new from all of these in the btr that is the cycle you have to do then i can say really i can say that btr is enough until then uh, if you are not able to complete all the compiled modules if you are not able to complete all the exam and discussions uh, if you are not doing active recalls if you are not doing pyqs and still you are asking is btr enough i don't think it is a uh, it is a wise question to answer or it's a wise question to ask so it's my version of is btr enough and it's my version of btr loop and what happens and how to avoid it i think these three measures will definitely help you uh, in removing this kind of mindset this is what i am facing as an average student that is what i wanted to tell you guys i hope this video is helpful thank you so much if you liked it uh, and let me know in the comments what are your opinions on this uh, see you in next video bye bye